Right, now this is something that I royally fucked up when starting my business. And that was looking after my health. Which is actually weird because my whole life I've been quite an active individual. But in the last few years starting my business, I was so full on with my business that I just didn't really... Like other than spending time with my daughter, I didn't have time for anything else. And so I completely neglected my health. I completely, I wasn't exercising. I was eating horribly. Like the amount of nights that I would have like a bag of twisties, a family sized bag of twisties and a bottle of Coke for dinner. Like <laughs> it's, it's horrible to sit here and think about that now, but like I had so many, because I didn't want to stop working. I was at my computer working on whether it was the website or whatever I was doing with the business. And I didn't want to stop what I was doing to take half an hour out to prepare a meal and sit down and have a meal. So I'd just go and grab whatever was easiest. Or I'd, I'd rather drive five minutes up the road, two minutes up the road really, um, to Macca's or KFC or one of those sort of places, just pick up a meal quickly, come home and eat it. I'd, like, I'd rather do that than spend the half an hour or 40 minutes to, to prepare a decent meal because I was so focused on what I was doing with my business. But it's, it, it's not sustainable at all. And it, it's something that I look at now and I'll just, I can't believe that I neglected my health so badly. It's just absolutely ridiculous now that I look at it. So if you get one out of all of the episodes, and look, this is episode 20 there's probably going to be another 15 or 20 episodes at least in this series. I would probably say even when we get to the end of the series, this is probably going to be one of the most important episodes and it's also going to be one of the shortest. It's not that much for me to, to go into here because you know when you're eating shit, right? You know if you're going to Macca's or KFC every day or, you know, eating pies from the servo every day when you get petrol, or what, like that sort of shit. You know when you're eating bad. I knew when I was eating bad. I knew when I was eating and stuffing my face with all this shit that I was going to be putting on weight. I'm putting on weight. I'm not exercising, you know. So it was, it, it's not like you don't know that you're doing this to yourself. You just ignore it because you're in the process of working on your business and you think, well, that's fine. I'm, this is more, my business is more important. What you don't realize is your business isn't going to operate as well or at all if your health suffers it just won't so i made a decision about a month ago to actually do something about it i did join a gym about two months before covid and i was going um pretty much every day really and and i wasn't enjoying it but i was was i felt like it needed to be done but then COVID came along and all the gyms had to close and I used that as an excuse to cancel my membership and never ended up going back. But about a month ago, I I decided that I I did need to actually get on top of this properly. So I went and saw my doctor. We ran some tests and everything just to get a sort of baseline of where I was at. And he put me in touch with a physio and a nutritionist. Now, for anybody that hasn't been to a nutritionist before, I highly, highly advise you to go. I couldn't recommend it more. Now, walking into the nutritionist, my thought is, for fuck's sake, I'm gonna end up eating celery and lettuce and drinking shakes and that's gonna be my life. It couldn't be further from the truth. I'm eating more food now than what I was when I was eating like shit with the Maccas and the KFC and everything. I'm eating more food, consuming more now but it's the right food and it's proper food it's not fucking lettuce and celery and shakes right it's like chicken and steak and tuna and yes there's salad and vegetables and that in there as well but i'm able to eat bread which i didn't think was going to be a thing i'm able to eat rice which i didn't think was going to be a thing you know i'm able to eat so many different foods that it's not even really a diet like the the meal plan that we put together and, and it was a collaboration thing right it wasn't just her saying this is what you need to eat it was a collaboration thing we sat down and went through okay what foods do i actually like and 
what you know then we've, we've got a list there and then out of those what foods that i like are actually like i can so breakfast is basically two slices of toast and two eggs like happy days not bacon and eggs not all the sauce and other bullshit you put with it but two eggs and two bits of toast that is awesome i'm more than happy with that you know so it's that sort of thing it's so they will tailor it to you and i've got so many different choices if i don't want to have eggs one morning i can have other stuff or if i don't want to have what they've put out for you know it's like there's four different options that i can have with dinner or five different options with it like there's so many different things that you can have mix and match this and the ingredient with that ingredient but but it's easy it's so easy it's so like i've i've got it written down i've got the form here and i literally just pick off okay it's dinner time what am i planning on having or no i don't wait until dinner. like what am i planning on having for dinner tonight okay i'm gonna have chicken breast and salad and or like veggies and rice probably not salad and veggies but you know chicken breast veggies and rice and that's my meal and it's beautiful I, it's, I could not recommend it more so if you're struggling with this go and see a nutritionist whatever like the hundred bucks whatever it costs you to go go and see a nutritionist they will put together a meal plan with you not for you Not it's not imposed on you they'll do it with you so you've got ownership of it you, you go through it and you work out what, what's actually going to work for you if there's foods that you don't like like there's certain foods that, that she brought up and I'm like no that tastes like shit I don't want that so we left that out you know other things so and the same with the, the physio right We I met with the physio she gave me a, a an exercise routine and again I say she gave me an exercise routine it was more of a collaboration we went through it okay what are you going to join a gym or are you going to do this at home no i'm more likely to do it if it's at home fine great okay what equipment have you got at home what can you get okay i can get a bike exercise bike fine okay do the exercise bike i also already have some dumbbells and you know this is this is what i've got available at home and we put together an exercise routine that goes for half an hour so i do it every morning for half an hour well five days a week she said don't do it on the weekends just give your body a break so just do it Monday to Friday, fine. So I get up half an hour, oh, sorry, I get up, do my half an hour worth of exercise, 15 minutes on the bike, 15 minutes doing these other exercises that she's given me. And I'm already feeling the benefits of it. I feel stronger, I feel fitter, sounds stupid because I know I've got a long way to go. But in the first month I've lost two and a half kilos just from you know watching what I'm eating and you know exercising every morning. So it's working and but for me it's not necessarily just about okay i've lost two and a half kilos great it's more the the fact that i'm feeling better within myself which means i'm feeling better to put more energy into my business it's the, the it's one of these weird things where you think getting up in the morning and exercise like and i felt like it, to be fair I, the first two days three days maybe like my legs were aching. I felt so like, oh, it was horrible. Couldn't walk after being on the And, you know, it was just shit. But you get into a routine. Now I get up and do the exercises. And when I met with her again last week, we've basically decided to increase the exercises a little bit because they were getting, not easy, but I was able to cope with it without it hurting, which means I'm ready to go to the next level, right? So it's, it's more of a collaborative thing going and, and staging it like that so it's something that as i say don't neglect it learn from my mistakes go and see a 100 percent. go and see a nutritionist for 100 bucks go and see a fucking nutritionist like i didn't realize they were so cheap and if you get as i say a good one like I, if you're in perth like especially north of perth hit me up i'll put you in touch with my one because she was amazing she's in june if you're anywhere near June up and you want to be in touch with a, a nutritionist, let me know and I'll hook you up. Same with a physio, actually. So, you know, around that sort of area, let me know and I'm more than happy to, to do the introduction. But go and see these people and they will put together a plan with you to make sure that you're on track. And as I say, you know when you're eating shit anyway. So you already know if you're doing something wrong, you can cut that stuff out. Now... 
the only other side to this and the only other argument with this that I had specifically for the nutritionist was if I'm out on the road, you know, and, and I know this is probably going to be true for a number of people listening, that if you're out on the road, you're on the tools or whatever it is, you're a sales rep, anybody that's that's out of the office for a period of time during the day, what are you going to do for lunch? It's easy to go to Macca's or it's easy to go to KFC or to go and grab a pie or something like that. Go to Subway. Subway is, it, it's got so much, there's so many different things within Subway that you can actually do. So I've been in the, the last few weeks, I've been to Subway a bunch of times when I'm, when I am out on the road, because there are so many things, like you go in there, and you, the, the key is, don't get the white bread, because the white bread's full of sugar and shit, and that's not great. So I've been going with the, the rye bread, or the multigrain bread, or like, whatever it was, I can't remember what the name of it is at the minute, but with that bread, and the nutritionist said to me, load it up, like put whatever, you know, chicken tuna that you want on there, but load it up with salads. So I basically have almost every salad there. Like I don't like olives and I don't like jalapenos. I just, you know, I don't like those. So they're about the only two salads that I don't put on there. And, you know, with the chicken or whatever. And it's fine. Like, you know, it's a decent meal. And you're not eating shit. It costs basically the same as going to Macca's. And it's way better for you. And you're still eating a decent meal. You're not, oh, fuck, I could have a shake for lunch. So, as I say, out of all of the episodes that that I have done and I'm going to do, this is probably one of the most important. And you won't realise how important it is unless you get to the stage that I've let myself get to, where now I've got to actually do something to fix it. If you're doing this from the start and actually looking after yourself from the start, then you're going to be a million miles ahead of where I am three years in because it's just, it's something that I cannot overstate how important it is. So, look, I'd love to hear the stories. I'd love to hear feedback or anybody, as I say, that's that's one way or the other. Either you're massively into your fitness and, and you've got, you can prove how well it's actually done for you in helping you to grow your business or you've been in the position that I've been in for the last few years where you're really struggling with this and you know it's not a great situation but you're just kind of plowing on with your business and neglecting it ignoring it and so I'd love to hear both sides of that but other than that as always feedback comments like it share it to somebody that this may provide value to I really recommend that because there's, there's so many people out there that need to hear this and know that they're not the only person going through it. So do what you can. Go and see you, see these people. Enjoy your day. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Cheers.